Hello, and thank you for joining me. Today, I present our work titled Assisting Manipulation and Grasping in Robot Teleoperation with Augmented Reality Visual Cues. My name is Stephanie, and I am from the Westphalian University of Applied Sciences in Germany. A prevailing problem in robot teleoperation is depth perception in manipulation tasks. Even in scenarios where the operator and the robot are located in the same physical space, but not in direct proximity. Here, operators may have a fixed viewpoint due to safety reasons, and teleoperation requires the operator to have a good understanding of the location of the robot relative to the workspace and the objects in it. That is why we propose to use augmented reality and elements from monocular depth cues, which are visual cues perceived only with one eye, such as lighting and interposition, to present two designs of visual cues. We name them augmented visual cues, and they aim to enhance the operator's perception of the robot and the environment and improve performance in pick-and-place tasks. Our first design, Basic Cues, consists of indirect cues that do not require previous knowledge of the environment, and they indicate the position of the gripper in the workspace. The main characteristic is a combination of physical and virtual landmarks. We can see the cursor taking the color of the pointed area. The virtual color map reflects the current position of the gripper on the real color map, which now is moving in between two colors. The real and virtual color map help operators realize the position of the gripper relative to a target by matching colors. Our second design, Advanced Cues, provide explicit hints for interaction that are environment aware. This means that we use object and pose recognition to provide explicit hints. The main element is a virtual copy of the grasped object, with which we named Ghost Object. Here we can see the cursor with occlusion capabilities that allows to point at specific areas of an object, for instance in between objects. This is the ghost object displayed at the same position where the cursor is, allowing to visualize the position, pose and space that the grasped object will occupy in a specific area. Object shadows are not visible to the operator. A robot control concept involves the use of hands-free interaction through head movements to point and voice commands to commit an action. We use the Microsoft HoloLens 1 to display our visual cues and present basic robot controls for fine positioning that are virtually attached to the grip. Here we can see a robot control concept working together with our basic cues design. We evaluated each presentation of visual cue against the baseline without cues in a between participants experiment. Participants performed the pick and place task with three different objects. And we evaluated task performance through time, accuracy and error errors as quantitative measures. As qualitative measures, we asked participants to provide words to describe their experience and carried out an interview. To the collected information, we performed the sentiment analysis and a thematic content analysis. Our quantitative results show that the advanced cues led to less error, shorter time, and higher accuracy compared to the no cues condition. The advanced cues compared to the basic cues led, resulted in less errors and a shorter time. The basic cues compared to the no cues led to higher accuracy. Our qualitative results from a sentiment analysis revealed that teleoperation without cues prompted mostly a negative sentiment. Our basic cues prompted equally positive and negative sentiment, which were supported by a thematic content analysis. Here, our basic cues were referred as futuristic and complex. The advanced cues prompted mostly a positive sentiment and were regarded as visionary. Both presentations of cues were considered innovative, interesting, and intuitive. Our take-home messages are that both basic and advanced cues help to understand the relation between the robot and the environment in a given workspace and assist teleoperation by increasing accuracy. However, the number of elements from our basic cues added complexity to teleoperation. On the other hand, presenting the future state of an object favored not only task performance but perception of teleoperation. Thank you for your attention and I will gladly reply to your questions.